If you want to know how to digitize your signature in Photoshop, this is the right tutorial. Now, a couple best practices. First, use a dark pen or a black pen on a white sheet of paper. And then the best thing to do would probably be to scan it in, but you could also take a picture of it with your phone. That's what I did in this tutorial. The quality is a little bit lower because some of the colors of the paper come through but we're gonna be working through that and if you scan it in to your computer, that's an even better option. Let's hop into Photoshop and take a look. So once we're in Photoshop, we're gonna to wanna to open up our photo. So I would just go to File, Open, and then find the photo. I think mine's probably in my Downloads, most recent, and let's see if this is it. I just hit Spacebar here on a Mac and that's it. So my signature, I'm gonna open that right up. Now you'll already see this is not a perfect photo, so I've got some work to do. First, I wanna crop this into just the signature. Get rid of any of this other mess. So I'm gonna grab this lasso tool and click and drag around the outside of my signature. You don't have to be super close to the edge, just enough to isolate it like that. Then we'll go up to image down to crop. So now we've cropped in to the edges of our signature right here. Next thing you know is in the layers panel, there's actually also a channels. If you don't see that, go up to window, down to channels and pull that up. We're going to turn off the green and blue channels and just look at the red channel. Once we have the red channel highlighted, go way back up to image, drop that down to adjustments and then levels. This is how we're gonna isolate the signature from the paper. You see this big peak here? That's where most of the data of the photo is. And we're gonna call most of that white. So we're gonna bring this slider down until we start to remove all the excess information of the paper, leaving only the signature. But the signature also gets a little bit taken out of it. So we're gonna pull the black levels up a little bit until we darken that signature up. And then with the grays here in the middle, the midtones, you can pull those down or up to your liking to get the signature effect that you want. So just work on these two tabs back and forth to find the perfect level of your signature. Now we're also gonna take care of any excess data that's outside here. There may be some that we can't see because it's so light now but we can go ahead and hit okay on the levels. And down here in our channels, if we hold command on a Mac or control on a PC, we get this little icon that lets us make a selection of what's on this channel. So when we click, it makes that selection. Now the selection is kind of reversed from what we want. So we're gonna press shift command I or shift control I to invert that selection. Shift command or shift control I. If you don't wanna do that or you're confused, go up to select and you can click inverse right here. So what we don't want are the marching ants around the outside of our page here. We want them only around the signature itself. Things are looking pretty good in my opinion. So we'll go back over to layers and we can actually turn on RGB again, no problem. Now go back over to layers. We can unlock this layer and turn it off. So now we just have our selection and the transparent background. Then we go down here to this little half circle, kind of dark on one side, light on the other. We click on it and we can add an adjustment layer and this we're gonna add a solid color. It's gonna automatically fill in that solid color with anything that you want here inside of the selection that we had. So if we wanted it to be black, we can do that, hit okay. And now we have our signature. To see it on a white piece of paper, we could add a new layer, press shift F5, that's fill. That's also up here in edit, down to fill right there. And we can fill it with white, just like that. So now we have a white piece of paper or like a white layer underneath this so we can actually see our signature. And so at this point, if you wanna make any edits to it, basically you have a solid fill completely solid black fill with a mask on it that is the signature that you scanned in. This mask can be edited. So let's say we wanted to get rid of a few of these artifacts that I see out here. What we can do is click on that mask, press B for your brush. So now we have the brush tool. We can use our left and right brackets to scale this brush up and down. What we wanna make sure up here in the size is that the hardness is all the way up to 100 and then the size you can edit here as well. Now once we've done that, we can paint on this mask in black or white. If we paint in black, it's going to remove 
And I'm pressing Command or Control Z to undo that. If we paint in white, which is our other foreground color down here, press X to flip flop those, or this arrow right here you can click as well to flip flop, but yeah, X is quicker. So we're gonna paint in black any of these excess spots, and what you can do to really cover it is just make sure you're kind of painting outside of the signature here, kind of move around, paint, and just make sure you clean up any excess points that are around the outside of the signature, anything that might've shown up from the paper, that stayed after we did all the levels. If you scanned it in, and look, there's some extra points inside here, we can remove those as well. You can clean this up however you like. If you wanna remove these extra points right here on the end, you can do that too to kind of reshape what's going on with your signature. And if we zoom back out, a quick way to figure out if we have removed all the points is to press Command or Control T, which is the transform tool. And you can see this should go out to the edges. So it hits the top of the S, hits the bottom of the P. We go a little further right than the edge of the end of the signature here and a little further left than the edge of the S. That probably means there's a little bit of data out here and we wanna clip that to the edge. So we can go back to that mask, make sure we click on it, go back to that brush tool. And we can do another thing here. We could use the lasso tool and just kind of use this tool to make sure we make a selection around the edge and then all the way around the outside of our paper here of all of this space. And we could press Shift F5 and we could fill that in with black because we're filling this space in on the mask in black, which means it's basically gonna remove any of that extra detail. We could do the same thing over here, just go around the edge of that signature. And all we're doing here is cleaning up the outside of our signature. Really, we're just being picky at this point. We'll fill it with black, just like that. Now we could always Command or Control T, and you'll see we've really removed any of that outside detail. Now it goes to the edge of the signature here and pretty much the edge there. There's probably just a few things right in here, nothing to worry about, but that is your signature now completely isolated and completely on a transparent background as well. So make sure you don't have any other layers in here. We can just delete these by selecting them both and hitting delete. Yes, I wanna delete those. Now we just have this isolated. And what we can do is go to file. We can go to save or save as, or save as a copy. These are a couple things here in Photoshop now that uh, don't make as much sense anymore. First, I would save it, and that's gonna let us save this as a PSD file, which I would do just to keep that version. And now to save an image, I would go to save as copy and switch the format to a PNG. So you got your signature.png and save that. And then for this, large file size is fine. Hit OK. Now this is your actual signature, and you've got it in a PNG, so you could pull that in anywhere you want. And then you also have the PSD file that you could come in here and double click on this solid to change the color to anything you want as well. So that's a cool way to digitize your signature here in Photoshop. If you wanna vectorize it in Illustrator, check out the video linked down below or on your screen right now.